everyone, welcome back to another Procreate tutorial. Sticking with the Halloween theme of this month, we're going to be drawing Dracula. So let's get started. If you do not know how to load in a reference photo, I have made a separate video on how to prepare your canvas to follow along with our tutorials. So you can go watch that. Also, if you want to download all of the things that I provide for following along with this tutorial, it's in a Gumroad download. You can find it in the description below. Free download, although I've set it up where you can donate a dollar or two if you appreciate these tutorials that I bring to you every week. All right, let's do this. So I am going to do my outline in black and we're going to start with the channel inker streamliner and let me see i think i'm going to do the head first so we'll start up here and the grid lines are at let me check one more time 303 pixels and also the canvas is set at 3000 by 3000 pixels so if you set your grid to 303 it will match your canvas over here all right, so let's do this head first here. So, okay, so I'm going to start about, here we go. All right, and then I got a line coming up to a little sprig of hair that's sticking out. And then we're going to continue the head, kind of coming through those, the corner of that grid line. Okay, and then down to about here. All right, I think that's good. Uh, let me see, so this inside part here, the point's gonna come to about there, and then we're gonna come to about over there, so. All right, and Ear's gonna be right in the junction of those two grid lines, so we'll put a little oval there and there we go. Alright, so let's get this side of the head here. We're gonna come all the way down to about there. Oops. I think that's good. And then we got a little piece of his ear sticking out on this side. So about there. All right, let's do his eyes. So we have an oval. I'm going to hold my brush down, try to make that a pretty oval. And then this one over here is more of a circle. About like that. I think that's good. All right, let's do these eyebrows up here. So I think that's good. We got like a little line there and then this eyebrow is going to be kind of touching the eye about like that and then we got another little line right there okay uh on the eyes here we have some thick to thin or thin to thick lines a little detail in the eyes like that and then we got a couple of lines under here I think that's good and then on this eye over here we got one up here and one there one there. that one's a little thick I'm gonna take my brush down a little bit we had about six six percent okay and then we got one up here so let's just do that one all right a uh, couple lines right there under the eye Okay, let's do this nose. The line coming down. And then we got a thin to thick to thin. Just like that. That's good. Okay, let's do the insides of these eyes. We got a couple of lines going across. Make sure those are connected. 
And then we got like a little pupil here in the middle. All right, I think that's good. And then on this one over here, they're gonna be kind of slanted up. Oops, held my pen down so it wanted to straighten that line out. Okay, and then another one here. And then another pupil here. All right, I think that's good. Let's put his mouth in next. Okay, so we're touching that grid line. Gonna make this little C part first. And then we're gonna come. I think that's good. Okay, and then we got the teeth. And they're kind of not touching that top lip portion, so I'm gonna try to do that. Okay, if I can't do it, it's okay, I think, because the mouth's gonna be, pretty sure it's gonna be black on the inside. Yeah, I think that's okay. And then we got a tooth here. And then we're gonna be connecting the up to there. All right, that's good. Okay, we got a shape coming up like that. And then we got it coming about to there. And then connecting with the mouth on the bottom there. And we got a tongue. So let's do the middle part here. Like that, and then we will connect that one. All right, so we got the head. Well, actually, we got to get this hair coming down all the way to about there. That's good enough. Okay, let's get this bottom of his face in here. So coming. Kind of goes up here in the middle, and then goes down, and then goes back up, so. Yeah, I like it. I think that's good enough. I don't like the thickness of this line though. Kind of blend that in. Okay, what next? Let's go ahead and get this tuxedo part done. We got a line coming from up here. With a little lapel or point right there. And then we got, he's got like a little beard. We'll put that in. All right, and then the tuxedo, let's do his bow tie because it's kind of in front of everything. So, maybe like that. One more time, I didn't like that thick line we had on top there, okay? And then we'll do this side here. I think that's good. And a couple of wrinkle marks, which are common with bow ties on the sides there. Then we got the middle shirt here going up and going up. Make sure you got everything connected. All right, and then the lapel is right there. And then let me see the neck part here is gonna be coming down to about there and then meeting up with that one okay let's do this part here and then okay and then we got this shirt part here all right and then the I don't know what you call that, a kind of a handkerchief, I guess? I don't know if it's connected to the, to the tie or not. And then we got it coming out here. All right, I think that's good. Okay, let's get this traditional Dracula high collar part done. Just like that. And then we got like a little, like on that side, we had that little point come out. We got one here too. 
Okay. Looking good. All right, I guess let's start on his arms over here now. So we've got a line there, a line here. And then connecting, make that a little bit bigger. Connecting right, right there. Okay, and then we got a overlap here. Another overlap there. Bring it up a little higher. All right, and then the bottom here, we're gonna be almost touching the bottom of that. That grid line there. And if I touch it, it don't really matter. I mean, if it's that tiny of a difference, it's not gonna really show up much. Okay, we're gonna come up here and connect with that. Okay, let's get this lapel or cuff. That's what you call it, huh, a cuff? So I'm gonna come out like that. Make sure those are connected. All right, it's gonna come out a little bit. And then we're gonna go up. Maybe like that. We got three little buttons here. Okay, uh, the sleeve part here. That's better. And then let's do this one more time. That part. All right, okay, let's do this hand. So we got a thumb. There. And we got a finger coming down there. And then this part here. Connecting with that one. We got another finger here. Okay, I think that looks fine. And then we got this one coming out over here. I'm going to start from over here so I can get that curve. Here we go. And we got a little line right there. And we got another one here. And another one on the other side. All right. And then the wrist. Okay, I'm going to get this little finger here. And I think that looks good. That arm is done. Let's do this arm over here now. Okay, so we got about to there. We got a line here, and we're going to come up to about there. So let's do our cuff here. I left that open because that finger is going to be covering it. So let me do these little buttons here. There we go. And then let me get this arm. So it's going to start. Maybe I... Mm, I guess it don't really matter. So I'm, I'm thinking that part coming down, this part's going to have to meet. But I'm going to do this arm first. Yep, I think that's good. And maybe I'll just bring this down so it'll touch. So I'll know I'm, I'm done with that part. Okay, let's do this sleeve part here. I think that's good. We'll thin to thick to thin. I'm gonna do it one more time. I don't want it touching. And then we're gonna come up with the uh, I guess it would be the wrist. All right. Okay, and let's do this thumb. And then we got a thin to thick there. All right, let's do this finger. Let 
I'm gonna make these touch. All right, and we got a and a sausage shape there with a line. And then we want to bring these two together. Okay, now this finger here, I'm gonna start with a thin part down here. All right, and then we're gonna come out and meet up over there. Okay, we got a one there, we got one there, and the wrist. All right, now we got this one little finger here. So I don't got that sleeve part right there, but I think it's okay. I mean, this is where all these lines are converging together. You're not going to really know the much detail in there anyway, so I think it's fine. It don't look exactly like my sketch. Okay, so let's do this body portion here. So I'm going to get this little jacket here. So we're going to continue... up there and I'm gonna come down to about there okay and then want to shoot up shoot up there let me fix this all right and this jacket is gonna connect with that so I'm just gonna put in a line right here okay let's do the other portion of the bottom of the shirt here, and we got a pocket. And we got a button here, a button there, and another one there. Okay. Now let's do this inside part. I'm going to touch that. Okay, and how far do we need to go down here? I think all the way to about there. So it's this outside line here. I think that's good. Okay, and then the inside, I'm gonna come around. All right, now the outside. So I've got a lot up here. I've got to go all the way to the sleeve. We're gonna come through that, through that, through that, maybe out to there. So I connect all these. Is that good? All but here. Yeah, I think it's fine. All right, and then let's do the inside part. I'm gonna go through there, maybe there. And then the end of it is gonna be about there. So let's try to connect all these. Okay, let's do these folds on there. One there, and a wiggly one there. All right, I think that's good. Let's get his pants in here. So coming out. Maybe there. Okay. And we got a line going across there. Okay, I'm gonna do this inside line here. So it's gonna be the outside of his other leg. We're gonna come maybe to there. All right, and then that one, make sure these are connected. Okay, and then the inside of his other leg. 
Maybe to there. We'll start about there. Okay, and then we got a bunch of these little folds. One more here. All right, I think that's good. And on the other side, it's kind of high actually, all the way up to this grid line. Okay, and then coming out and over again. I think that's fine. Okay, shoe. Make sure these are all connected. Okay, and then a sole of a shoe. Alright, and then the bottom of his cape. Alright, and then we got like a little line on top of the shoe here. Thin to thick. Okay, and this shoe over here, we got about there. Okay. And then a sole here. And I'll line one across there. Alright, and we're gonna get this cape continuing over here and then over there. Alright, I think that is it. I might find something that I've missed later, but we'll we'll go with what we got right here. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of my reference photo here. And I think I'm going to take off the grid lines too, so just to turn off the drawing guide because I don't need those anymore. And now we're going to start on the coloring process. So what you want to do, click on your layer button here, you should just have your line layer and your background color. So we're going to start a new layer. We're going to drag it under our line layer. So this is where we're going to drop our colors in. So on layer 4 here where our lines are at, we're going to set that to reference. So when we drop our colors in layer two here, it's gonna use the lines above it to tell where to put the colors at. All right, so far as a color palette, I've provided you with a Dracula color palette here. And I've got different shades of the same color so we can use for highlights and shadows. Okay, so what we're gonna do, I guess just let's get his face in. So I'm going to pick this, this lighter blue color, choose that one, and then we're going to drag and drop that into the face here. Let's do the hair. So the hair is going to be this top dark. It's not really a black, it's kind of a gray. Drop that in. And this light blue color, I missed his ears. I put that one in and that one in. All right, and then his eyebrows are gonna be this same dark color that we did for the hair. Get that a little bit bigger. And drop that in. Um, for the tops of his are the eyelids, the kind of the fold ones. We're gonna do that in this darker bluish color down here on the bottom. So you're going to do that one and that one. I'm going to hit continue filling so I can just tap it. So I'm going to do all the folds. For the eyes, they're going to be yellow. So I'm going to take this top yellow here, drop that in, and then of course, so we're going to do a just a true black for the inside of his mouth maybe his pupils all right teeth is gonna be white but we want to make sure we get those colored white so I'm gonna turn off the background color I don't think I gave you yeah I did I got a white here I'm gonna put those in the teeth the bottom portion there Tongue is going to be red. We can turn that background layer back on. Uh, tongue is, I think, that color there. Okay. 
All right, let's do his beard is going to be the same hair color. So I can see a mistake already. So I'm going to go back up to my line layer. Change that to black for our outline. And then you can see this lapel of the cape doesn't have the it's going to add it to the shirt, so we need to make this vest part come up. And we need to connect it right there. So I told you I'd find a part that we needed to fix, more than likely. Alright, so now that's a closed off shape, and the other side's a closed off shape too. So we're going to choose a red. Use this other red over here. I'm going to drop that in over there and then one over there on that side. Okay, and then his neck is going to be the same color as that face blue. The color right there is going to be white. So again, I'm going to turn off my background layer so I'll be able to see that. Choose the white, drag and drop that in. Now we turn the background back on. Okay, the bow tie is going to be the same red color. And do that. I'm going to hit continue filling so I can tap those. And then this middle part here is red. Okay, maybe the inside of the cape while we're on red here. Oops, something's open. That right there is open. So again, go back to my line layer. Close that off. Well, that's what I'm talking about when I always harp on making sure you got your lines closed off. There we go. And then this side over here. All right, uh, all right, his jacket is gonna be this middle gray color right here. Let me try this side over here. That side's closed. That's closed. Let's use that gray and boom, there we go. That's what it was. All right, his jacket here is going to be this bluish color on the top. Drop that one and that one. Okay. And then his lapel there is going to be this gr darker bluish color. No, I don't like that. Uh, I'm going to choose this. I don't I didn't give this to you, but this is a kind of a good lesson. You find a color that you need. So I want it a little bit lighter than this blue color. So I'm going to choose that blue color. And then I'm going to go to the classic here. And then you can just take this slider here on the bottom and lighten it up a little bit. And then Drag and drop it on. You can see now it's a little bit lighter. Maybe we'll put it for the pocket too. Yeah, I like that. Okay, for the cuff links, same as the shirt. Do that one and this one. Okay, and then the background off again. Choose our white and the little sleeves right there are going to be white. Okay, hands. Hands are going to be this middle shade of the light blue that we use for the face. So we're going to put there, there. I'm going to hit continue filling so I can tap these other fingers. And then we got that inside, inside portion of the sleeve. Kind of same color, I guess. Okay, don't, let me turn the background layer back on so we'll see which we haven't colored yet. The pants are going to be the same as the cape. Put that in. Uh, the shoes also same as the cape. And then the little buttons here are going to be yellow. Maybe that one up there. It don't really matter. One or the other is okay. I'm going to continue.
continue filling, tapping. And I think we got some over here, right? All right, I think that is all the coloring done. So let's start in on the shadow highlight layer. So I'm gonna make a new layer on top of our colors. I'm gonna turn off my reference. I don't need that on anymore. I'm gonna go back to this here and I'm gonna set it to clipping mask, which will allow us only to color on where we have color already. All right, and let's do this lighter. Is that the same color? It's the same. No, it's lighter, okay. This color down here. Well, maybe that one up there. So it's gonna be kind of a highlight on the cape. And I'm gonna make my brush a little bit thicker on this one because we gotta color in large amounts. I'm just gonna make a line going down just like that. Maybe one on the inside here too. Okay. I got a little bit on the red here, so I'm gonna take that off. I don't want gray on my red. All right, and then on this side over here, we'll do some on the inside and some on the outside. And maybe a little thin part here in the middle. Just gonna give it some character. Okay, that's good. All right, on the top here, maybe there's some light on his shoulder. So I'll put a patch there and then maybe right here too. Some right there. On this arm, top of the arm, and then maybe some patches right there. All right, for the pants, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna do maybe a piece right there. One right there. Maybe on top of the shoes like that. Same thing over here. Just on the outside. About like that. So the outside's gonna be kind of shadowed by that cape, so we're gonna leave that one alone. And I think, yeah, that's good enough for the cape and the pants. Let's do the jacket now. So the jacket was in this lighter color. So we're gonna pick this darker bluer, and we're gonna do some shadow. So we're gonna do some on this side of the jacket going around that side and then all of this here all right and then maybe a little bit right up here hmm I think that's good okay for the lapel Let's see, I think I'll take this middle bluish color here. And we'll do some highlights on the edges of this lapel, just about like that. And then maybe a little bit right there. Yep, I think that's good. Okay, uh, on, take that darker color again, and then we'll put some on the outside of the cuff there and then on this one right here we'll do kind of on the inside and then this dark part here that little piece will be dark all right what else let's do the red portion of the cape so I got this darker red the darkest red that's on the palette list here we're going to do most of this inside and kind of fix this overlap so that we did with the gray by mistake. All right, and about 
there. And then we'll have it coming down. Right there. That's good enough. On the lapel up here are the hood, the high collar, I guess it would be. I'm gonna go on the inside. I'm gonna close that shape off so then I'll be able to drag and drop that color in right there. Okay, and then on the inside we'll do maybe like that. All right, uh, for his scarf here, we'll put a little bit of shadow on this side, and then maybe around there, around there, and then the bottom here. That's good enough. Okay, for his hands next, let's do the darkest color of the blue, and then we're gonna do some shadows here on the inside of the hand. So about like that, and then maybe some on top of this finger. That, and then down there. On this thumb, I think it's gonna be pretty much in the light, so I got my light where it seems like it's coming from the top right. Okay, and then this hand here, the inside again, all of that. Okay, and as far as fingers, we'll do the right sides. And then this thumb down here, just on the very bottom edge. All right, that's good enough. Ear, uh, about that much. Okay, uh, for the face, we're gonna just make a line about like that. Try not to get it on his hair here. Yep. And then on this side here, a little bit right there. Okay. Maybe on the bottom of the chin. Oops, I got some on his beard. Just about right there. Under the nose, maybe, could be a little bit shadow there. That's good enough. All right. Uh, so... I'm going to do the same trick that I did before. I'm going to take this eyelid color and I'm going to go to classic and I'm going to make it a little bit darker. So I can put a shadow right there and right there. And the same thing over here. I'm going to do one right there and right there. Okay. Okay, let's do the hair next. So go back to your palettes, and we're going to pick this lighter, lightest of the gray color here. And we're going to do some highlights. Just got to kind of get it kind of jaggedy. I think that's good. Okay, maybe the eyes, this maybe darker one here, and I'll kind of follow along with this other shadow that was on the eyelids. All right, and then the teeth, we got this little darker. We'll put some right there, and we'll put some right there. Maybe this part here too. 
All right. I think that is going to do it. Maybe we'll do one more little highlight in the beard here. I'm going to pick that highlight hair highlight color again. And I'm going to put like a little jaggedy lightning bolt shape right there. All right. Let's change our background color. Or maybe let's just put a swatch. So I'm going to start a new layer. I'm going to put it all the way on the bottom. If it'll let me grab it. There we go. And I'm going to pick... Let me go... I think I want a purplish color. So unsaturated purple color. Maybe there. All right. And I'm just going to make my brush really big. And... I'm just going to kind of make a little square behind him. This brush is not really good for doing this, actually. Because it's got the drawing assist on it. So it makes it a little hard to paint in. Let's make a little design there. And then maybe fade it out a little bit here we go guys that is gonna do it so I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial of Dracula thank you for joining me as always I appreciate all the support uh, if you haven't subscribed please do so hit the little bell icon so you'll get notifications but we'll we'll do new videos every week so with that I want to thank you again and I will see you next week take care